In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a movie-inspired photo collage in Photoshop. Hey everyone, my name is Justin and you can find me on justthisgood.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a cinematic style photo collage in Photoshop. I saw something like this in the opening sequence of a movie. I'm not, I don't remember which one it was, but I thought it looked pretty cool. They had the rounded rectangles with the, some images taking up two rectangles and some just taking up one and then the text in the middle. So it's a cool way to kind of present things. So. It works well as a template for a photo collage too. So we're going to recreate something like this and the first thing we want to do is just open up our widescreen kind of canvas. So if you go to File, New, um, Photoshop actually has a preset called Film and Video and it, it automatically does the 1920 by 1080 kind of widescreen proportions. So I just used that because it was pretty easy and we're not actually taking this into film or anything like that, so it doesn't matter. You can also go to view and turn off extras to get rid of those um, blue lines if they're distracting you because we're not really using those guidelines. So aside from opening up our template, I also want to open up the photos that I want to use. So I've got these three photos open and they all share the same theme of being taken on the same day. You don't have to have them all taken on the same day, but it kind of works well as a collage if the photos are related. So the first thing we want to do is create our template. So we've got all those rounded rectangles and how we're going to make that is head over to your shape tool and click and hold on it until you see the rounded rectangle. Now I'm working on Photoshop CC, so my shape tool might be in a different space than yours, but it's generally on the bottom of the toolbar and if you click and hold it, you can find the rounded rectangle tool. Now before we start making the rectangles, we want to set some settings. So the radius right here is how round you want it to be. So I don't want just 10 pixels rounded corner. Let's do 15 pixels rounded corner to, just to give it a little bit more roundness, a little bit more style. Now the stroke, we're going to use none, and the fill, we're going to use black, so we can see it against our white background. Um, it really doesn't matter what color you use because we're going to be filling it with the image, but just so you can see what you're working with, we're going to use black. Now we're going to go ahead and start making our rectangles. So I'm going to do something similar to what I had in the original. I'm going to make one kind of long rectangle there. And at this point, I can just duplicate it, so Command-J, or you can right-click and duplicate, and I can move it over like so, and then hit Command-T to open up my transformation tool, and then just squeeze this one in. And then I'm going to duplicate it one more time, Command-J, and move it over and then squeeze this one in. So once you have those three set up, you can play around with the spacing. Like I'll go back to the middle one here and make it so that the lines in between are even and maybe separate this one a bit. But overall, I'm happy with that. And one thing I did to save time was I'll just have all of these highlighted and then right click and duplicate those layers. And now I can just hold shift and drag them down. So now I have my bottom half here. And what I'll do is I'll edit, transform, flip horizontal. So it kind of flips things over. And then what I'll do is I'll find this layer right here. Oh, not that one. And I'm finding it by toggling the little visibility eyeball and I found it. So this layer right here, I'll remove. So I'll just click delete and delete that layer. So now I have my five different rectangles and again, I'm, I'm holding shift and the arrow keys to kind of play around with the spacing a little bit. And I'm just selecting all the layers and moving them how I like. So once I have that set up, I can also 
go ahead and place my text now. Um, you could place your text after or now. I already know mine is going to say um, a day in the city or something like that. So I'm going to grab my text tool, I'm going to pick the font that I want, and I'm going to set the color to black. So I'll do a day in the city. And you can have yours say whatever you want um, based on the theme of your collage. You could, it could be like our new puppy or <laughs> our wedding or whatever you want to do. So I'm just going to make the first sentence here a little bit bigger so it aligns. Um, of course you can spend some time on the text and make that fancy too, but I'll leave it like so. You get the idea. So now we have our template. Now we want to fill in the images. So I have my three photos open. One, two, three. Um, I just want to drag and drop them into my canvas. So I'll just drag the layer and drop it onto my canvas and it'll automatically place it in there. And um, I'll just do the same thing for all of these. All right, so now I've got all three photos and they're placed on top of my template. Um, so now we're going to do a little bit of organizing before we put everything into place. So in my mind, I already know I want to set, I want one photo to be taking up the space of both this top block and this bottom block. So I'm going to find those layers on my canvas. So that's that one and I know because I'm just toggling the visibility. So I'm going to remember that one and then there's that one. So I'm going to put those two layers next to each other by dragging them. And then I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to select both of those layers and I'm just going to merge them together. So command E and now they're on one layer. And I'm also going to do that for these two. So this, this one and this one. So I'm going to hold shift. They're already next to each other. So I'm going to hold shift, select them both and merge them. So now I have all three of my sectioned out rectangles how I want them. And now it's time to place the layers. So I know I want this photo um, as the main left image. So what I'll do is I'll place it right above the two rectangles and then I'll hit Option Command G on my keyboard, which will create a clipping mask. So what a clipping mask is, is it just tells Photoshop everything that's on this layer will only show on the layer underneath. Of course, it's a little too big to see anything, um, which could work out if you want, but what I'll also do now is hit Command T to open up the transformation tool, and then I'll drag it till I found the bounding box, and I'll hold Shift, and I'll just shrink it down to a size that I want, and a placement that I want. All right, so I'm going to use that one right there. That looks pretty good. You can tell that these images, this is the same image, and it's just moving through the bounding box. And now I'm going to do the same thing for both of the other layers. So I want the clouds to be on this single layer. So Option, Command, G. And then I'll shrink it down with Command, T, or Edit, Transform. And I'll shrink it down to a size that I want. All right, I think that looks good. That, that little black um, horizon kind of uh, balances out the black of the text. And then lastly, I'll grab this picture of this wall here and I'll place it above the other two rectangles. And I'll do it by hand this time so you can see. I'll go to Layer create clipping mask. So you can all also do it through the menus instead of shortcuts. And I'll go to edit, transform, scale. You can also do that instead of the shortcut. And I'll find my corner and I'll hold shift to constrain proportions. And I'll just drag it down. And I want it to capture that quote right there. And there you have your final photo collage. So it's a really interesting way to break up a few photos 
And of course you can use more than three photos and more than this amount of shapes that I used. But this is just one example of what you can do with this style of film or cinematic title sequence but in a photo collage format. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you had any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below, I'll answer you. If you enjoyed the tutorial, make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for future tutorials. Also, you can find the template example that I made here on my website, justasgood.com, under the resources page. I'll leave a link below. And all these stock photos and more on the resources page of my website. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching, thank you for subscribing, and I'll see you next time.